What's up, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a push workout and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This is a follow along workout. So you guys can follow me through the whole workout. There's going to be a lot of knowledge bombs dropped through it and I'm going to show you every single rep and set. So this is a push bodybuilding workout. So something a little bit different. But before I get straight into it and I'm gonna get you guys to follow me um, with this workout, the structure of this workout is gonna be something cool. So we're going to be using some maximal energy. We're going to be basically pushing hard with some low reps. But before we get started, we're gonna start off with a nice warm up. I like to warm up my delts before the workout starts. Again, a little bit about the structure. What we are going to be doing is, we're going to be hitting some low reps to start with. We're going to be hitting some bench press stuff um, and then are basically targeting our chest and then we're gonna be hitting those shoulders and then we're gonna finish off with some triceps because who doesn't love a good arm pump, okay? Let's get started actually. Let's um, first start by warming up our delts. So, first of all, we're gonna set up our equipment. One of the things I love to do is warm up my rotators and I know I see a lot of you guys doing this with dumbbells and basically what you're doing is you're not working against gravity um, when you do it with dumbbells. However, when you have your cable pulley, you do work against gravity. With this exercise, you do not need um, any heavy equipment. This is just warm up your rotator. So you're just going the opposite direction. You can see the cable pulley work against you. And generally, I don't actually count my reps when I do this. So I'll aim for about 15 reps of this. I don't count my reps and I'll try, try and do this for about 30 sets. So about 30 sets um, in, my shoulders should be nice and warm. But yeah, I'd like to talk a little bit about the structure of this workout because this is probably something different most of you wouldn't have tried before and I guarantee you, you guys are gonna learn a lot. So I hope you guys stay with me till the end of this video. Get some popcorn ready if you guys are watching this at home or, you know, if you're watching this at the gym, put your headphones in and, you know, zone in with me. Um, join me with my rest breaks. Join me follow along this workout because this is going to be an epic workout and this is going to change your life in different ways. <laughs> We're going to have some fun. We're going to be demonstrating some strength work, um, some endurance work. You guys are going to see me struggle. You're going to see me get a good pump. See me go from looking like a skinny little bodybuilder to inflate in like a balloon so it's gonna be an epic workout and i just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's been following my journey so far hope you guys have been loving the content but again i want to be as interactive with you guys i want to connect to you with you guys on a deeper level so drop some comments you all know i'm always here to support you help you and again drop your suggestions because your suggestions are important to me it's this is it's not about me guys this one this channel is for you um, we're trying to build a community here, we want to help each other and we all want to make gains, right? So let's make this work. Whew, I can already start to feel that burn. Nice, nice, good. And I find this is very important. So when, I, when it comes to things like a bench press, for instance, um, this has been a very, very good savior for me. I'm saving my shoulders, especially knowing I'm going to get heavy with my bench press. All right, so that's done. And of course, I do have some protective equipment here from KXK. The link's gonna be below, so you guys will be able to get your own, because I got mine, and it's only for me. I ain't sharing. <laughs> um, before I get into the workout, water is quite important. It is number one, hydration. My water bottle isn't obviously full. I'm gonna fill this up a little bit, um, so I don't have to walk back here. I drink quite a bit of water um, through the workout, so. You're gonna see me back and forth, coming back and filling up this water bottle. And we're gonna start off with our barbell bench press. So we start off with barbell because one is a nice, simple movement. You can also still work with some max maximal effort. We are gonna be going quite heavy on the barbell um, bench press. Now I don't usually use a belt to bench press. However, my next movement is going to be a uh, military press, so standing shoulder press. And I really, really need my belt in that instance because I don't wanna hurt my back. I'm gonna actually keep my belt on for bench pressing. So this is something quite new that I never do. Um, so you guys can kind of judge me on this. Um, again, I'm, I'm not training with a spotter today. So I'm gonna go heavy, but I'm not going to be going my heaviest that I'm going to be doing for bench press. But I'm definitely gonna load it up. And I'm gonna show you guys with my warm up phase, my reps, my sets, everything. So stay with me. Let's get started. Ah, this is good. How good is water? <laughs> uh, 
So first things first, I'm definitely first of all I gotta take the sign off. <laughs> um I like having a already set up bench press. I'm gonna slide my elbow sleeves on. Protect those elbows, very very important for me. I like to slide them all on before my warm-up set as well too. Just keep my joints nice and warm. That's one of the primary purposes of the elbow sleeves as well. I want to be in this sport for a long time. So, you know, got to keep it nice and warm. And no matter how big or strong I get, I always warm up with a bar. So, <laughs> doesn't matter how big you are. Uh, still going to humble myself enough to warm up with the baby weights. This allows me to reinforce my technique, pushing through my heels, keeping that chest up. Rock the bar, control. And I'm gonna start off with about 20 reps on my warm up. So just nice. Get some explosive reps, get some controlled reps. And I'm gonna have to move my mic in a second because now I'm starting to mess with my gains. <laughs> and we don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna move it up a bit because my point of contact with the bar is affecting my mic, but keep going. Just wanna to start to feel that pump in my chest. And then once I start to feel that stretch in my chest, I just slow it down, get a nice stretch, get full extension. I'm allowed to at this point, I'm going through the motion, getting the warm up in. So at this point, I'm aiming for about 30 reps. But more importantly, it's not about the amount of reps. It's about how I feel. I want to feel nice and warmed up before I advance or get ready for any weight. I'm going to move this up a little bit because this was all in my business before. Right off, my chest is starting to feel a little bit warm. I'm going to start off with one plate. Okay. So one plate, 60 kilos. I don't know what it is in pounds, but... <laughs> that's you know, one of the funny things is whenever I'm in the States um, and I go to a gym and it's only in pounds I just sit there like with my calculator like what is this what is this I can always estimate it but for me it's always weird and I'm sure you guys probably um, from the States probably feel the same like if you go to a different country and it's in kilos or I post my videos and it's in kilos and you guys are like what's this guy even on about like Sitting there trying to calculate it. Why doesn't he calculate it for me? Anyway, enough talk. Let's get straight into it. So, I've got a 60 kilo bar here. Um, this is not heavy for me. Ideally, I can do about 60 reps of this. So, what I'm going to do to warm up into this is I'm going to do 10 reps, which are very fast. And I'll do another 10 control. This is just going to warm me up into it. Again, I don't want to exhaust myself too much while I do this movement. So, what I'm going to do is, this is a very lightweight. So, 20 reps is nice and easy for me. And then I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go straight into some heavies and they're gonna be very low reps. Knowing that I've already started my push movement, so after this I don't have to warm up too much when it comes to the military press. Now my format is the most important thing while I'm doing this. So pushing through my heels, making sure my delts are retracted, taking a deep breath in before I start the movement, and rock the bar. Explosive 10 first. And then now controlled ones. Reinforce my forming technique. I felt that, so that gave me a good warm up. Um, I think I'm ready to go a little bit heavier now. Um, so I can go for about two more sets on this. Um, next up, I'm just gonna go straight up to 100 kilos or two plates. Now, one of the things that I felt was my wrist, okay? And this, I'm sure you guys saw me holding my wrist straps all around. When it starts to get heavier, that's when I put my wrist straps on. So this is the purpose of it. I wasn't just holding them for sure. So one of the things about training is 
getting your weights. <laughs> so this is my little cardio session in between. Get this weights in. Again, when it comes to our rest breaks, like in between this, you can increase your rest break by quite a bit, depending on how fit you are as well, or how long it takes you to recover. So that's one of the big things that you gotta take into consideration. You wanna be rested, we are going for heavy. We're going for three to five reps, that's our main goal. Um, so we are trying to aim for heavy. We don't wanna over exhaust ourselves because we are going to be doing a military press. Use still the same push muscles. Um, and we still want to be able to go heavy on these, so we don't want to exhaust ourselves too much on these ones. Because after, we've got time for volume. We've got time for volume when we hit dumbbells. So that's a bit of the structure of this workout that you guys are going to like. Um, you get all your nice big heavies out of the way, and then it's volume time. And when it comes to wrapping up my wrist wraps, I like to do them nice and tight. This weight isn't too heavy for me. I'm gonna go very explosive, however, with this. So I'm gonna kind of keep my wrist straps light. I'm not, I'm not wrapping it up too tight because those are like, when it comes to my very heavy weights, that's when I'm gonna be wrapping it up super tight. That's when, I, that's when it's beast mode, it's game on. I, I, need, I still need some, some movement and motion in my wrist. I need some blood flow. I don't want any circulation cut off while I'm doing this. I still need to be comfortable. Again, it's very light for me. So my goal is to go very explosive with this and reinforce my form and technique as I go heavy. Five reps, done. Um, yeah, that's pretty fun. Pretty easy, pretty chill. I loosen up my wrist straps, and then we're going for some added more. We're gonna add some more plates, like I do when I'm having my dinner. Quick question: How many plates do you do when it comes to sushi? <laughs> Any of you go to um, sushi train or a sushi um, cafe? Depending on what you guys call in your country, wherever you are, how many plates do you do? I'm curious. Drop them in the comments below. So, three to five reps. Again, I don't have a spotter today. Guys, always be careful in the gym. When you don't have a spotter, be mindful of how heavy you are lifting. Um, because bench press especially is something that you do not, you don't want to be stuck here when you're alone in the gym. <laughs> Luckily, I've got my mate behind the camera. Um, you can drop the camera if um, you know, we need. However, this is something I'm quite comfortable with, um, benching by myself without a spotter. When I decide to go even heavier, I still will be good because even if I end up dropping away, you can drop the camera and come help me, come save me. <laughs> but I'm just saying, don't um, lift alone, especially when you're going heavy or doing this type of workout. Make sure there's someone in the gym at least. Call someone at the front of the gym to help you um, because your safety is important okay now we're going a little bit heavier i'm gonna start to tighten this up a little bit more and i'm about to zone in so three to five reps still still gonna try and aim for five like why not and then we'll go heavier So that felt pretty good. That felt pretty good. Um, so that was 140 kilos. I think I can go a little bit heavier for our next one. Um, that was 140 kilos. Um, I'm gonna push it and go for 160. So yeah, Whew, that, felt, that, that did feel tighter. Like, I mean, I've done 140 for 12 before, so I felt it easier than that. But, um, you know, just get a gauge and see how you feel on the day and that's how you go 
you know i'm thinking 160 for today i'll probably only get three reps out but we'll see how it goes who knows might get more might get less but yeah so far so good again make sure you have a decent enough rest because your rest because your rest break is important and don't forget to hydrate what is important you know that felt good what a taste good <laughs> um yeah and your rest breaks are important and I, I think one of the biggest things when it comes to training especially when you're going into like a heavy set it's mindset that's one of the most important things um you need to be able to get into the zone um you need to be able to switch on your beast mode and release that adrenaline to be able to lift that weight as well too so it requires a, a certain amount of effort but it also requires your mind to be somewhere so i know the gym is usually for me is my place it's it's my sanctuary it's where i feel good um it's where i'm not judged my judgment is my judge is the weight so um you know it's 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 my place where i i really it's something that i really appreciate so i have to really join in when if i've got a goal i have to really really join in to get it so if i'm not in the right mindset and i come to a gym i come into a place of um, where i'm actually distracting my good place you know um, i think when i'm in the gym i have to be here um if i have a focus i have to hit it i have to really zone in and get it so with this when it comes to big weight Zone in. Your mind only has to depend on that. I'm, I'm working only on heavy weights, so I have to be fully focused. There's no time for distractions. That's when it's time for us to go real savage. So, um, yeah, that's just it. You go savage and zone in. Wrist straps really tight. It's gonna be heavy. Oh yeah. Especially when it comes to lifting heavy, make sure you're fully tight on the bench. Yeah. All right. My goal was three reps i got five don't know if it was the camera uh i don't know if i was trying to prove my point to you guys hey but i got it done it's all about zoning in it's all about the mindset i i honestly feel i only have three reps in me based on how it's going but you just don't know like i said you just gotta zone in give it everything so we're done with bench baby 164 five i'm happy with it let's press some heavy Woo! And of course, <laughs> you're still gonna unrack your weight yourself. There's no one else going to do it for you. But how good would it be if you could hire someone <laughs> who legit take your weight off for you? So all the bros out there that hate cardio <laughs> can be like, hey, look, I'm not doing my cardio. I'm saving my gains. <laughs> but um, legit though. This is literally probably one of the most annoying things about lifting heavy weight. It's unracking the weight. Whew. I'm ready. So exercise number one done. That was very quick. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Hope you guys are doing this with me and are able to get the most out of the workouts because I know my other workout sessions are a little bit, you know, edited. So you guys don't really sometimes get an insight to how my mindset is, how I feel when I'm training. That's why I wanted you guys to get the whole feel, you know? This is a full raw video, something completely different. Um, we haven't done this before, and um, yeah, it's a little bit hard to train sometimes in front of a camera, but I think this is all right. And if you guys like this, I'll make, definitely make more com um, content, but I need you guys to let me know because I ain't gonna know unless you tell me. <laughs> so let me know in the comments. And then we're gonna go up to setting up for shoulder press. We're gonna quickly turn 
the fan off because I might interrupt my mic a bit. Whew. All right. Let's set up for military press. Another power movement. All right. The clips in the gym. They're literally one of the, um, the most annoying things. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Setting up for the military press. Okay. One of the things we, when, we're doing, uh, when we're setting up for the military press is I basically set this to just below my shoulder height. So it just makes it an easy way for me to get into it. I've got four sets. I'm gonna kind of get into this straight. I'm not going to be just be doing the bar because um, I kind of warmed up my push movements with my bench press. I know it's a different movement because um, now my center of gravity is coming from a vertical perspective as opposed to a horizontal perspective, but I've already worked and I'm working most of the muscles. So still starting off quite light. I mean, I'm doing only 40 kilos here. Um, but I'm gonna start in my set, this one 10 reps, and then my next three sets are gonna be three to five reps. So chest up, I've got my belt here, give me that protection, explosive up. One, two. Oh, more power movements. So after a bench press or heavy bench press, I'm not expecting to be lifting crazy heavy um, <laughs> on the shoulder press, but I still go um, to the best I can. And what I wanna do with this one, and what I wanna show you guys is um, with this one, we're not going to be going for super power movements when we go heavy, we're going to be going for some controlled heavy. So again, this is a bodybuilding workout. This isn't a powerlifting workout. So that's the difference. I want to go heavy, but I want to control that weight for heavy. I want to feel every single muscle work while I do this. So, I know some of you are probably going to be looking in the comments and saying, look, this guy ain't going to be going heavy, but when you try this workout, you would understand. You'd be like, oh, I can live this way. Nah, it's not about that. It's about feeling it. And I know when you, when you try it, you're going to feel the 60 kilos and the 60 kilos that you lifted in your last training session for one rep, you know? So nice controlled movements, using the elements of hypertrophy, chest up, control. That's nicely done, 60 kilos. We're gonna challenge ourselves, 80. It's time to get heavy. Again, one of the things I gotta remember is I gotta control this weight, so I'm not going heavy too quick. Nothing too crazy today. Um, let me get some water in as well and get my wrist straps because as it starts to get heavy, I need that support for my wrist. So again, that's why these pieces of equipment become handy and safety first. You always gotta, whew. See, the sun's coming up. <laughs> We're here at 6 a.m. filming this morning, so <laughs> you gotta get that grind on. So those are some of the things you guys don't see. Like wake up nice and early, Get an empty gym. I mean, I just saw someone come in. <laughs> just so we can fill some content for you. So I hope you guys appreciate this. <laughs> mm. It's also less distractions, you know? Just so you guys don't think I own this gym. How oh, this guy, you guys say, make sure you share this video so I can make money and buy my own private gym so I can make epic content for you guys, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or send me crypto. <laughs> don't worry guys, there's some big things coming. I'm sure this is only the beginning. I don't I don't expect anything to be given to me, you know? I'm working for it. Just like we work in the gym. That's life. Okay, so 80 kilos, gotta zone in. 
this is gonna be heavy for me. I know I'm just benching 160 kilos. I want this controlled. That's what I want. Ooh. That felt good, but that felt intense. So my last set, I'm not gonna push it past it. If I was to go for power reps, I could go over 100 kilos, but I still want that same control that I did for the 80 kilos. So 90 kilos, it's probably the heaviest. I'm gonna go for the next one. Whew. That felt good though. Um, I'm just gonna give myself a bit of a break. And when we start volume training, which we are gonna start in a second, I um, mean, you guys will see um, where it's a little bit more higher rep. My rest breaks is probably going to be a little bit less. So I'm going to be talking a little bit less. That's why there's a lot of talking in these videos. I'm going to have some chapters here as well too. So you guys can click on the chapters to see which parts you guys like the best. But in all honesty, I think it's worth it. Not just because it's my video. I think it's worth it staying for the whole video and um, going through. But again, if you have watched it before and you want to like scroll back and see, look, I did the tricep part of the workout and I want to come back to that. It's totally fine, I won't be offended, just a little bit. <laughs> Whew, 90 kilos, um, yeah, I think I've got time to readjust my straps, zone in a little bit. Another thing here I've got here is the lever belt. So with my lever belt, I can actually tighten this belt. Now one of the things, I've got two levels here with my lever belt. So I can go tighter and I can go looser. So ate a bit too much rice last night. <laughs> um, so I'm on this, the first one. The second one is even tighter. First one, but I can still lock this. Thank God for that. Uh, I haven't bulked too much just yet. This is just gonna put me in a nice little place when I push against my stomach. I've got that nice um, control. So I've got three to five reps to hit for this one. I'm gonna zone in, focus, because I still want that same control I did in my last set. So it's gonna be intense. So, four reps, pretty happy with that. Was able to get good control with that, pop my belt. <laughs> um, I could start to see my back, I was, starting to, I was starting to lean back a little bit more and I didn't want to hurt myself. That's one of the easiest ways people hurt themselves on the military press. So, left today instead of going for five. So you gotta be careful of these things, guys. Look, nothing is worth it if you're gonna injure yourself. You gotta train safe, still lifted some good weights I'm happy with, but that one last extra rep, could have um, cost me, just my ego could have cost me. So um, it's not worth it, but I feel good. I feel good, I was aiming for three to five, I got four. Um, not disappointed, very happy. And I think it's now time for me to hit some volume work, get those reps out. Um, one of the things I've always been pretty good at is um, volume training. Uh, a lot of people sometimes you know, can hit like three to five reps, but when, whenever they hit anything over 10 reps, they start to cry. Um, I've always been a mixture of both, so I can increase that intensity when it comes to volume. Um, so I kind of look forward to volume training, but I don't look forward to the pain. Of course, it never gets easier, <laughs> but it's fun. It's a little bit of fun. Um, pumps are unreal, and yeah, you just take to that next level. However, you're probably gonna see me talk less and it's probably going to be a little bit more music all over the top of the movement. <laughs> That's when you know I'm in struggle, struggle song. All right, so drink some water. It's good for your soul. All right, I think what we're going to do next is we are going to be doing an incline press. So for our first set of volume, um, so I first exercise for volume. When it comes to an incline press, there's a pretty good incline, just probably about two away from the top. Um, hitting the upper chest, and we're gonna hit some of our delts, and then we're gonna go into a straight um, setup as well. Just a little bit higher, sorry, less than 90 degrees, so we don't hurt our shoulder and we're putting them in a good spot. With this one, we're gonna have minimal rest in between, very controlled. We're gonna start off with 
12 to 15 reps. So I'm gonna increase the weights after each set. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna keep my rest break to a maximum of 30 seconds. It doesn't matter that I'm gonna be increasing the weight after each set. I'm still gonna keep my rest breaks really short for this. Um, so all of, all of this is because your, your body is actually able to recover within these 30, this 30 second period, um, some of our ATP systems. And so that um, anaerobic explosive energy that we need when we work in that anaerobic phase, we're able to recover some of that. So we're able to still put tension on the muscles, the big muscles we're trying to grow. Um, not fully, of course, but it's still enough to be able to give me, allow me to still lift relatively heavy, not extremely heavy, um, but still relatively heavy while I increase um, that weight. So um, the only thing that's going to hold me back in an exercise like this is my cardiovascular fitness. And I think my cardiovascular fitness is actually all right at the moment. So um, when it comes to the band set, I'm a bodybuilder. I should be kind of used to my anaerobic endurance. I should have no issues. Um, 25 kilos, good starting point for me. 12 to 15 reps. We'll have about 30 seconds rest and I'll talk to you guys in between. Um, don't know how I'm gonna do that while I struggle. But hey, that's what it's about. Getting that nice control on, keeping your chest up still. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oh, my 30 seconds started. So I just got my clock right in front of me. So I got 25 kilos here, uh, probably hard to see. I've got four sets in total, so how do I manipulate this? 25, I'll be very smart because I want to try and increase after every set. I'm thinking about 35 kilos for my next set. Probably a big jump. I love the challenge. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, Fifteen. Still hitting fifteen reps. So that's my thing. If I hit 15 reps, it means I have to increase the weight. Ooh. Because 12 to 15. So, 40 kilos. It's starting to get heavy. Picking up this weight is cardio. <laughs> so Starting in five seconds. Alright, 12 reps on here, so I'll stay on this weight. Get my 30 seconds rest in. We're going strong, baby. It's game on. This point, focus. I know this is going to be a tough one. I want to try and push for 15. Oh, we got 30 seconds rest. Zoe and Kwame. Let's go. Oh, hi. Three. Go 15 now. Pretty damn happy right now. Struggling, but I'm happy. Okay, I need this to calm a little bit. Maybe I need to do some cardio, how's wrong? <laughs> um, yeah, that was pretty intense. Got up to 40 kilos. Um, got my 15 on my last one. I was pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, that was, that, was, that was brutal. Nice little volume set. Starting to feel the pump. And that's one of the, the things I was talking about before. Why I love volume training. Feel the pump, gives you that little bit of motivation. It's good to have some good mirrors around your gym as well too, and good lighting. <laughs> kind of gets you in the zone now. And I'm not even saying this, I say, um, 
veins in, it does motivate you when you can see yourself in the pump while you train. So that's me just being real with you. Um, yeah, so training in the gym with good mirrors and lines. I'm joking. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far so good. So with this, I have about like a two minute rest, two, three minutes rest, finish the movement, and then we're gonna go into some delt work, straight delt work. Now with delt work this time, we're not going too heavy with this. We're going to be doing some pulse reps as well. So adding a little bit more time and attention with this. Um, I'll set my bench up slightly higher. Again, I don't set my bench up to a full 90 degree because it's probably gonna end up hurting my shoulder. Have a slight little incline on the bench because this helps me um, push through, engage my front delts a little bit more, but also put my shoulders into a nice protective place. I starting to feel the pump real good. Getting that sweat on. My work ain't finished. So it's a bit of a recap while I put my weights away. Um, you guys would have seen, we started off with some nice heavy bench press. We got our heavy side of the way. Our military, so we weren't controlled. Our bench press was a little bit more powerful. So more power movements. Um, after we started some volume work, more higher reps between a 12 to 15 range. Um, on the incline bench press, because we hit our flat before, now it's time to target the upper incline. Reason why I don't hit lower so often is because so often, when, especially when I bench and I, I get into an arch, I usually hit a little bit of my, a lot of my decline. So you guys already see that. Um, so kind of cut that out of this workout for you guys. Again, it's still a full bodybuilding workout. You will get the most out of this and a lot of people struggle to build that top part of the chest. That's why incline was a bit more of a focus. But it's a great workout for bodybuilders and powerlifters or people that hate um, any sort of, you know, bro lifting. This is a great one. I love it. It gets the heart rate up, gets the cardio system up. Great way to lose body fat at the same time too. So it's perfect. All right, enough talk. Let's get into some delt work. Now, going back to baby weights. Again, I've got my 12 kilo, 12 and a half, to be precise. What I'm going to be doing here is some nice controlled movements. We, we're gonna have some pulse reps, okay? We've got 12 reps, very controlled. Whenever we come down here, we've got one, two, and up. No lockout at the bottom, one, two, up two, one, two. So the purpose of no lockout is just to keep that tension in the muscle, get that short, those delts burning. Four, 12 to 15 reps, five, Six, seven, we're gonna even have a shorter rest break between this. Eight, nine, so it's gonna get very intense real quick. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're gonna have a 20 second rest break. I hit that 15 rep range, I want to go to um, 15 kilos, but I'm not too sure just yet because my shoulders are on fire. So I'm gonna still stick up to stay with the 12 and a half kilos. Um, see how I go with this one. If it's still pretty comfortable, I increase the weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, twelve, eighteen, fifteen. Oh, I think I made a good call by not increasing that way. Perfect. Only got a twenty second break, so I think it's good so far. Got my main focus in. Got my volume in, got my sweat on. Let's get him on. One, two, three. Really feeling the band now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, ah, 
fudge. Oh, wow. I definitely made a good call not to go heavier. Whew. Really feeling this today. Um, but it's good. It's nice to be able to give you guys a bit of a um, raw depiction of how I actually train. Um, and not just cut scenes here and there. A uh, bit of a raw workout. You guys can join me. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I'm still trying to always monitor my rest breaks so I don't get too much. I mean, it doesn't matter too much when I'm doing my heavier weights, but six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Wow, Whew. that was a burner. Whew. That was a burner. So, just where I left it off, doesn't matter so much when I'm doing my heavier weights if I'm having a shorter rest, sorry, a longer rest break. Um, but with this one, it does because we're trying to keep that tension, constant tension on the muscle. Um, we only having those little breaks to give our muscles enough time to recover. And then we'll go straight into it. Been a killer workout so far. We're not done yet. We're gonna hit those triceps. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my wrist straps off because I don't need them so much. With triceps, with triceps, I'm also going to be starting off with a bit of a push movement and I'm gonna take my elbow sleeves off um, just for this because I wanna just fully, fully focus on isolated movements, controlled movements, and a lot of this is all gonna be done with machine work. So we're gonna walk through to the next room well, my cables are on. We've got two exercises. These are very high reps. So what we're gonna do is, we've done all some heavy weights, we've done a lot of push movements. All our push movements, the beauty of this workout is all our push movements actually use our triceps, which is brilliant. So this is just time for us to just finish it off. You know, we've done all the hard work, got the big lifts in. Um, now it's time for us to hit those tiny muscles and also, focus on our sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So it's a bit of a recap for people. If you have watched some of my old videos, I'll have explained what sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is. So there's two different ways that your body can build muscle. And like I said, guys, knowledge bombs, I'm always gonna drop them in videos for you guys so you can learn. Um, there's two ways for us to build muscles. And I'll talk through this actually while I did this. Uh, we're gonna start off with 40 reps. Um, there's two ways for us to build muscles. Um, and one of them is, whoo, okay, I didn't expect that one. One of them is, we're gonna keep this control. One of them is uh, lifting heavy with a progressive overload and our sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, which is pumping as much blood so we can increase our muscle glycogen uptake. Now, I'm probably gonna lose count here, but that's all right. It's a nice warm up. So when it comes to muscle glycogen uptake, is basically making the muscles appear bigger. How much carbohydrates that you eat um, that your muscles can actually store. Okay, when your muscles can store more carbohydrates, it can actually expand and make it look bigger and it can actually increase the mass. So, when we have these combined trainings where we are doing very high rep and pushing um, as much blood into the muscle using various hypertrophy techniques, we actually activate that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy phase. So it's all well and good to be putting enough tension on the muscle while using heavy weights. However, this also contributes to muscle size. Doesn't contribute to muscle strength, but contributes to muscle size. So it is important to train, have a mixture of different trainers um, in your programming. And this is why it's important to program. Uh, if you do want help with programming, I will drop links below um, in the video. So you guys can join me as I coach you and teach you exactly how to train too. Um, we do check-ins one-on-one -on -one, um, online and I wanna help you be the best version of yourself and unlock your best potential too. So that's all well in games. I was able to talk through that very nice and easy. Only done one set, it's time to feel the pump. Now, what I'm gonna do with this one is do my 50 reps, I'm gonna increase the weight. Now I've got 30 reps, 20, 10. That's all we're doing for these. So slowly increasing the weight, reducing our reps. Try and keep everything still controlled even with these ones. So that's where the challenge is gonna be. 
Now, too often, the reason why people um, don't feel the triceps on this movement per se, it's not because they're moving their hands up and down. That's actually fine for you to move your elbows back and forth. It actually helps activate the longer head of the triceps, so that's fine, okay? The reason why people don't feel the triceps is because they, they speed up the eccentric, okay? Slowing down the eccentric is one of the most painful things, or controlling the eccentric is one of the most painful things on this, and that's why you start to feel those triceps real well. And again, I'm talking so much, I'm probably gonna lose count, so I'm gonna do an extra 10 just to be sure to finish off. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh, one. Damn. Whew. I really felt that burn. Okay, I'm gonna increase that weight. <laughs> you can see now I'm re increasing that weight by only the small amounts because now it starts to hurt. <laughs> We've got 20 reps now. <laughs> So keep my control. I'm gonna join in for you guys to enjoy this quick music, guys. Extra for the YouTube, I had to had to do it. Burning, Whew. feeling that tricep pump and the burn. Overall pump so far. I'm not doing legs, but thought I'd show you guys anyway. This is overall pump, overall aesthetics. I love a good push day. Feel good, feel aesthetics, and you can feel that solid pump. Now my last one, ten reps. I'm gonna increase it to the OG 40 kilos um, and give as much control as I can. this one this was intense Whew. I'm gonna grab my water that was intense and guys sorry I really needed that this brings us to the end of our workout um, as you can see I took you guys through every single thing every single rep every single set but the beauty of this is this wasn't too time consuming, okay? Um, some of the things that you gotta realize when you are training like this is your focus, number one. So you come to the gym, you gotta get the work done, okay? When you're training like this or in this instance, what you wanna do is kinda utilize the steps. We've got some heavy weights to start with with our bench press. So I'm just recapping quickly what we did, okay? Zoning in, only three to five reps on these. It's not too hard, but you have to zone in to give that maximum effort. Then we've got into our military press, where we're gonna get work into some controlled reps. Still heavy, we gotta zone in, avoid injuries, control, feel those muscles work. Then, start to target the incline of our chest. So get a nice push in um, on the top of our chest. Went into volume, that requires still decently heavy weight. So that's probably the end of our heavy weight. Then we went into our shoulder press with some pulse reps, um, implementing some elements of hypertrophy in there, which was brilliant for a nice little burn. Um, it also um, required some endurance, a lot of focus, um, a lot of anaerobic endurance where we were pushing through the burn. And then we finished off with some triceps, um, some cable tricep push downs. Nice and simple, you guys do this every day. However, the intensity we're looking at, we started off nice and heavy. My triceps are really, really pumped as I'm talking through this workout. But most importantly, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. I hope you guys. Um, followed me through i want to know you i want to know your comments uh, before you try the workout and after so i want to know both because i'm curious to see how you guys go it's a great convenient workout push today and i'm sure most of you would like to see the pool day because i'm tagging this muscle so leave some comments below share this video to your friends because again it takes time 
I'm waking up at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., make sure the gym is empty to come here and film for you guys. So drop some comments below. I want to see what you guys think. Um, if you guys want me to do a pool day as well, let me know. So I'll film the pool day for you guys as well. And I'll take you guys through my workouts for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share this around. Thanks again for joining me. We are out. Peace.